Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll talk about another lesson learned from the Islamic Leaf Games in the early 90s uh, where we used to receive hundreds of teams playing football, volleyball, uh, basketball, table tennis as well as spectators. And I remember uh, during this time we used to open the headquarters of Islamic Cliff in Birmingham to use it for the people who are traveling from a far distance and they want to stay overnight. And we had at that time two football teams from Bradford came, young people under I think uh, 16 or uh, 14, something like this too. And they were staying overnight with us in the place we used to use it as a kitchen. And they, of course, when you have 12 or 15 or 16 young people uh, in one room in the evening doing nothing, they keep talking, 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 talking. And I passed by them after midnight and they were still awake and I told them, please sleep. So we, you, and it's time to relax and rest. Then I left and I was very busy with all my brothers uh, preparing uh, the day for tomorrow. I came back two or three hours later on to find the same group still talking, 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 chit-chatting without sleeping. I was a little bit angry uh, because of course they didn't listen to me, they didn't have to listen to me. But this is the time and this is the style I used to use at that time. Then I talked to them in a very uh, adamant and uh, dictating uh, way, telling them, if you don't sleep, you don't relax, you don't get rest, then you pray Fajr on the, on, uh, uh, in the morning before you, before you play your uh, football matches, you will never win and switched the light off and left. Uh, the game started after 8 o'clock. Alhamdulillah, thousands of people were in the hall in uh, National Exhibition Center in Birmingham and at least 120 plus teams were playing football. And around 5, 6 in the evening, I found uh, a dozen of young uh, men coming, jumping, and yelling, and wailing, and happy. And they told me, we won, we won, we won, we won, we won. I said, who are you? And they told me the story that I came to them, and I challenged them, but if they don't sleep, rest, and pray Fajr, they will never win. Alhamdulillah, uh, they won. Listen, learn it from this. If you have uh, young men very excited, about something that they want to do, change it into an opportunity and into a success story for them. And link it to the religious uh, activities that you want them to do and bring them back to the value of Islam. And this is what happened. That's why they won the two trophies on that day. Please understand what the young people want, then take it with what you want to give them as values, morality, and religious principle, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.